little bit more of a question just because the men, these championships have had some underperformances. They've had some unlucky breaks. They've had a lot of silver. They did not have a gold on the track. And then the quartet of Cherry, Norman, Deadman, and Benjamin get it done here and get the win. Close going towards the latter stages of the race. I thought that Deadman put Bry Benjamin in a great position going into the anchor leg. And then he took it from there. The U.S. ran 255.70. The Dutch, 257.18. Botswana, one of your picks, got the bronze medal there. But U.S., despite all the struggles, ends on a, a positive note. I think if they lost this one, then you'd have been like, wait a minute, what is going on here? So the, 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 you need to you need to reevaluate re everything here. Something There was some bad luck. Someone opened an umbrella outside at a, a black cat caught cross your path or something. But for the U.S., luckily, they uh, their, their talent shined through here and, and they got the victory. Yeah. Um, this is what we expected, right? We talked four by fours. We expect the U.S. to do what they're supposed to do. We didn't have a situation when we lost to Trinidad and Tobago or obviously any, like, weird upsets. It's like, you're the best. You have the deepest team in the quarter mile. We could have – we are – eighth best 400 meter runner would be on every other country's four by four, right? If you take our, mm -hmm. our, the worst leg of our B squad, they would probably be on everyone's A squad. And if you have that depth, you need to be able to put together an Olympic gold and they did it. I think they probably also felt a little pressure. Cause I think they probably looked back in the team and they're like, man, like we didn't win that mixed relay. Things are happening mm -hmm. in that four by one. Let's like, yeah. Let's end on a good note. And I think that was probably the mantra going into this race. It's like, we just don't overthink it. Just run to your ability and put, and put together a good four legs. And they ran fast. They ran a good time. So it wasn't like a, yeah. a little like 257-y. Like it was 255. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm curious to see the the splits. And it'll be tough just as it is with any 4 by 4 to the first and second legs in particular sort those out because of how people take those splits. But I'd be curious to see Norman's Norman's leg there. Cherry Cherry did a good job. He closed really well, uh, but but it was close. It was close there. And Bryce Deadman for his first time through was real solid. He was a guy who ran well in Europe, so he hinted at how strong he'd be. And then he ran a solid leg in the in the prelim. I thought it was a great idea to close with Benjamin. He's just running with so much confidence right now, and you can see about 150 to go. He was thinking. Man, there's no hurdles. This is amazing. I can just run. I don't need to jump over a, a single thing. There's no, and and there's not the greatest four-meter hurdler next to me right now trying to trying to beat me. Like this is great. This is a good deal. And I get a gold. Great way to end it for Ryan Benjamin. I love this uh, graphic that Travis has. Put that up on the screen. We cur the U.S. currently has the nine fastest times ever run ever. No one has ever broken it up. Mm -hmm. So. It's kind of wild that USA's ninth worst time is better than the rest of the world. It's like a cool little streak. Eventually, a country's going to come in and run a, a 256 or a 255 to kind of break up that top nine mm -hmm. times. But until then, it looks kind of cool, right? You just see all America, and it's very consistent. Yeah. And that 254.29, you, we kind of felt like that might have been in the, in the thoughts because when Norman and uh, and Ryan Benjamin were in college. You're kind of thinking, mm -hmm. oh, these two guys, they're going to be together. They're on the same timeline. We know Curly was doing well at that moment. It's like, yeah. he's got to find a fourth at the moment. And they could probably flirt with that 254. But now with uh, Norman not 100% being the 43 mid guy that he is, it's a little, I'm not sure if this is the generation that gets it done. I mean, what do you think? Do you think this generation, by generation, I mean the, so, like, a, a, do you think a Rye Benjamin, Michael Norman, 4x4, four four, in the next four years, will run a 254.29 or faster? It's a great question. I did see, did Fred Curley tweet out phase 43 the other day? Meaning, is that his hint? I take everything seriously now that Fred Curley tweets after the... <laughs> the, the 100 meter silver medal. So, if he's going back to the 400, yeah, maybe, like, I didn't think this was the strongest 
the U.S. has looked in the quarter this year, and they run the fifth or fourth fastest time that they've ever run. I know it's a a, a bit of a jump there down to down to n- number one all time. Yeah, phase forty two, not even phase forty three. Excuse me, phase forty two with Curly. That was a couple days ago. So yes, I think it's possible for them to break it in this era because I don't I don't think that. I think when you put when you have that cornerstone of of Benjamin and he looks pretty solid um, in the years to come. Uh, and the U.S., look, here's the thing. The U.S. is just always going to crank out 44-second runners that can run 43s on relays. So you really just need to get, and I know it's tough, but you really need to have those, those just have line up two of those transcendent stars who can split something ridiculous and then put them together with your other two, and there you go. I just think when you look at that, list what it makes me think is the calculus for us four by success four by four success is really easy and i know this is oversimplifying it because yes when you run fast you run fast but run 255 and you get a gold medal that's what it is run 255 and you get a gold medal so figure out a team that could run 255 and no other country in history has run that so they would have to run their national record and faster than any other team outside of the u.s would have to run to get beat so the times that the u.s loses is when they're going outside of that that 255 zone which opens opens them up to to an upset, but that was not the case today. Yeah, I, I am curious though to see these splits. Hopefully, we get those uh, pretty soon. I know I've been talking a bit about the 2015 World Championships because when Lincoln was on the pod last night, we were in the marathon. He was at those championships, and that was a meet where the U.S. really did struggle. They only got 18 total medals and six golds, and they lost. Or sorry, they won the four by four. At that meet, that was the only gold on the track, just like the only gold uh, on the track for for this competition. But with the silvers and the bronzes.